uh, hello dear students this is a third tutorial of uh, um, the case a foundation in OCC soil or consolidated soil so this is a third uh, tutorial we okay so in first tutorial we defined the soil the boundary condition and the soil properties we set the material soil properties today and we will uh, create the material for structure that is uh, mm, foundation uh, material that we from which material it is made and we will uh, enter the properties of that material after that we will discuss the stage construction and analysis so first of all we will uh, select structure mode and we will uh, select the show material <laughs> and here we will select soil and interfaces and we will create a new material here we will enter as b u i l i n building sorry building and our building is a linear elastic model and our material is non porous and the gamma unsaturated for the building is 50 kilo newton per meter cube and these are the advanced option so we will not uh, touch them or now we will enter for further parameters we will enter the parameters so the parameter for the building is that is the stiffness parameter the modulus of, elast modulus of elasticity and poisson ratio so the modulus of elasticity for uh, the building i will enter is 3 uh, raised to the power 7 okay yes now I'll enter the Poisson's ratio for the building is 0 0.15 it is mentioned uh, in the tutorial manual that why that's why I am entering here uh, you can find the your pro uh, project or your structures properties and you can enter uh, by mm, finding them in lab in structure lab or other uh, labs uh, if you perform the utm testing uh, to test on the material by uh, sub subjecting a, a tensile or uh, compression uh, force on uh, the object or object material and find its modules of elasticity by uh, the test so you can enter here and these are the alternatives uh, the these alternatives are correlated with the stiffness if we enter the stiffness perimeter so these uh, will also mm, selected uh, select by default if we change these materials so our uh, stiffness perimeter will also change according to them so these are correlated by the uh, plaxis 3d software these velocity is also calculated by uh, default and this is the stiffness if the stiffness is increased uh, per unit length so you can enter that how much increment in uh, uh, incremental change occurs in the stiffness and from where it starts so we this is from where it starts means that reference from where it starts increasing now groundwater will not uh, click on that these are directly selected if you are uh, using an advanced parameters uh, in further tutorial you will discuss this so you can also enter it that interfaces we will also discussed in further tutorial about interfaces and these are the cannot procedures so they are selected as uh, automatic you can also select as uh, manual by entering your own value so according to tutorial in tutorial it is given that uh, you will select automatic this is basically the lateral earth pressure constant so our material is uh, properties are assigned to the material so okay now our, our material is this so okay now building material is uh, created now uh, we will assign materials so soil uh, yes soil create set materials is building so our material is so 
so we'll again generate the mesh for better uh, calculations okay now our uh, mesh is generated that is uh, 9248 elements and this these number of nodes now further we will study the stage construction basically when we construction uh, construct a building so we will uh, construct the building in the stages first we will uh, uh, prepare the ground for the building and then we will excavate the building and then after that we will uh, construct the building on the foundation uh, foundation of the building on the soil so these are these is basically mean the stage construction so plux is also calculates the procedure by uh, stage construction that first excavation uh, uh, that when we excavate the uh, earth for the foundation so uh, what kind of changes in or what kind of uh, deformations forces are transferred to the soil and uh, after constructing the foundation what type of uh, changes are uh, occur uh, in the uh, earth or soil strata so uh, plaque is also considered the stage so in stage construction uh, an initial phase is selected by default as a soil element we will add a second uh, phase which is uh, this uh, initial phase cannot procedure means calculation type that is direct generation of initial effects strip stresses broad water pressure and static parametric volume is not guaranteed and these are some other uh, parameters so the initial stress from finite element calculation to be used for non horizontal layers it is just for non horizontal and field stress direct generation of initial effective stresses power pressure and static equilibrium is not guaranteed so we will here uh, stuck to the cannot procedure stage construction loading type stage construction so now in second phase we will enter as b u i l d i n g building that is foundation of a building so calculation type will be plastic uh, consolidation and other parameters are also given we will further study this in other tutorials so we'll click ok now phase 2 now in phase 1 sorry in phase 1 we have geometry soils in the So these are the other properties, model, condition, etc. So we will not consider this. Uh, so in f initial phase, our model is just soil. So this is initial. In second state, our building is created. So our building is created. So we will. Okay. Okay. So in first stage construction, initial phase, our model is just soil. In second phase, we have building. So we have to select this volume here volume and we will replace this material in this stage with the building now this is the the building is now created on the soil so in second stage our building is created now after that uh, you have created all we have created all the project now we will just calculate ignore feedback and calculate that how much deformation uh, and forces are transferred to the soil by the uh, weight of the building and uh, without any external forces so we will see the this is the calculation phase uh, that uh, the plaques is calculating all the deformation forces in movements etc etc for this project so we will wait for a minute ok 
okay so our calculation is has been completed now we will view the calculation by clicking this magnifying glass like shape yes now this is the plaxis 3d output and these are the deformation uh, and etc so you can see the maximum value of displacement is 0 0.0135 meter and if you want to select or find total displacement in z direction so here we can see this Okay, now we we also will select this. So this is our contour of the deformation, deformation or settlement. So we will align this. So by clicking arrow, so these are the contours. So maximum value is 0 0.5606 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 meter and minimum value is minus 0 0.01363 meter. So therefore by this you can find deformations and etc etc etc. These are the total displacement in x and y and z direction and effective stresses, total stresses, principal effective stresses, principal total stresses you can find here the shear stresses etc so thank you for uh, watching please subscribe and like the video and subscribe the channel dr safdar uh, geotechnical engineer